Hi, this is Kim Sellers. Welcome to the segment on Project Closeout of our successful applicant workshop. Project Closeout includes several steps, some that need to be completed by RCO and some by the sponsor. The closeout process is the way that RCO documents the completed project. It is important to start the closeout process early and work closely with your grant manager. There are a number of steps for closing out an RCO project. The first step begins with the final inspection where your grants manager will come out and walk your project site. The next step is submitting your final reimbursement request. The final bill for your project needs to be submitted to RCO and entered into our system by our fiscal staff prior to you submitting the final report. You can start your final report at any time during your project, but you must wait to submit it until after your final bill has been submitted to RCO. As part of the final report, you will need to submit your final as-built plans and your boundary maps. For acquisition projects, you need to make sure all of your final recorded documents have been submitted. The funding acknowledgement signs need to be in place, and if you plan to do a grand opening, please alert RCO so that we can try and join you in this celebration. It's best to schedule your final inspection prior to the final punch list being completed. This will give the RCO grant manager an opportunity to inspect the project and ensure that there are no missing scope elements or other issues, such as accessibility that remains to be addressed. In preparation for your final inspection, review your project agreement to be sure that all elements listed in the agreement have been completed. Make note of any modifications to the project and be sure to share these with your grants manager. It will be helpful to have your project manager, engineer, or staff that worked on the project in attendance at the final inspection. RCO holds the last 10% of the total grant amount as retainage to ensure that the project is completed in accordance with the agreement. RCO will release the final payment once your final inspection is completed, all amendments have been processed, and your final report has been submitted. You must submit your final bill before you can submit your final report. All bills are now submitted electronically through PRISM Online. Check out our website for online tutorials and other billing resources at the web address shown here. As mentioned in the previous section, you will need to go to PRISM Online to submit your final report. The final report will remain in draft status until you submit it as final. If you need assistance, contact your grants manager. As part of your final report, be sure to attach all required closeout documents. For development projects, you will need to submit a site plan, aerial photo, or trail map that clearly shows the project site as it was constructed. Be sure to include project site name and the date submitted on all electronic PDFs or hard copies. A project boundary map is required for all development and restoration projects. Establishing this is very important because it shows the project area that is subject to the long-term compliance obligations of the grant. A draft map was due with your application and the final map is due at project closeout. In defining the boundary of your map, consider the scope of work of the grant and a complete recreation or public access experience. RCO encourages project sponsors to submit electronic maps of property boundaries. RCO accepts polygon files electronically. Minimum boundary map requirements include RCO project number and name, project sponsor name and signature, date of the map preparation, adjoining streets and roads, boundary line of land protected by the grant agreement, north arrow and scale, and sponsor signature and date. Project sponsors also may submit for the project file more detailed maps to document other features of the property. Other information that helps identify the property includes adjoining watersheds, adjoining water bodies, natural landmarks, geographic coordinates at the site entrances or corners of the property, survey information, and other measurements. A professional survey is not required. However, if a survey has been completed with RCO funding, then the survey must be recorded with the county auditor and a copy provided to RCO. Once your project is completed, you must install a sign recognizing the RCO funding program. 
RCO staff can provide you with small metal signs that are six inches by six inches for use at your site. RCO can also provide printer ready graphics if you choose to create your own sign. Please note though that there are specific guidelines for the use of graphics. In addition, for all press releases and publications referencing the project, you must acknowledge the grant funding program. Per your contract requirements, you must keep all records relevant to your grant agreement for at least six years after RCO closes out the contract. Since most RCO grants come with long-term or perpetual obligations, we recommend that you keep good records of any property that may have been acquired with funding assistance through our agency. When your project is complete, we would love to celebrate with you. Please notify our office if you plan to hold a ribbon cutting or opening celebration for your project. Often our director or one of our board members or even other RCO staff will be able to attend your event. We will also include your upcoming celebration on our website. We hope that you have found these segments to be beneficial. Remember that you can always refer to this presentation and contact your grant manager if you have any questions. Thank you and good luck with your project.